I did, very much so. Yeah, very much so. How did today's workout go? It went uh, really well. For the most part, we had some kind of some ebbs and flows uh, in every phase. Uh, offense got off to a very fast start in some of the competitive stuff we did. Defense came back and, and uh, finished a little bit stronger probably than the, than the offense offense did. Part of that, you know, is when you're just game planning and you've got a little bit more time, the coaches tend to be a little bit more exotic in uh, their thought process uh, with, with um, you know, just some extra practice time, but we'll, we'll get that cleaned up. How's the game planning coming along? Are you starting to put stuff in? Definitely. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have basically a, you know, by the end of, of Saturday's time, we'll have our, what would be considered a normal full week of, of practice with the game plan. And, and so hopefully, the, you know, when we get back down to, to Pasadena, we'll have another full week plus a couple bonus days and, and just hone in, fine tune, pare it down a little bit and, and build the confidence. Do you have any we'll have comments of yeah, I mean, I, I will confirm that he, he won't participate in the playoff, um, which is very unfortunate for him. Um, and, you know, he's already he's already been EFO in terms of leadership and already made a difference uh, of kind of how he um, uh, handled handled uh, getting dinged up. But just a, a tough, tough dude. And, and, you know, I expect our team to respond exactly how they've responded to to everything else. You know, I told him yesterday that if, if, if we just sat around and, talk about injuries there's no way that those guys could have done what they they did in the in the Pac-12 championship game you know if you look at that we had seven starters out offensively and it's 51 to 7 and that's just a tribute to those guys to the assistant coaches of of staying the course and you know for whatever reason we've been uh, you know snake bit this year and we will galvanize is a non-contact I don't want to get too much into it. Yeah, not it was an it was a non-contact injury. Uh, but other than that, I, yeah. How's that's, the team that's, responded so far emotionally? You, know, you say you say think they'll do well, but that's a pretty devastating guy personally. Still play. Well, yeah, and there's if, again, there's been a bunch of them. Yeah. You know, for whatever reason, this is this is our year for that. Um, and uh, every every single time our guys have been punched in the gut, they just kind of sucked it up and, and kept going. And and uh, both sides of the ball have been affected. Um, and, and our guys haven't blinked, our coaches haven't blinked, and you know, we've told you that, or we've talked about that before, of we, we truly believe in that, in, in that next guy and put him in there with total confidence and, and we'll do it again. Who will be the next guy? Well, a combination, you know, a combination of Dior factors. Huh? Dior and Cissé? Yeah, Dior, Chris, and then those guys have been very interchangeable back there. Um, yeah, whether it's Arion, uh, a combination of safeties moving around, there's always, you know, there's always some movement. Uh, week to week. Will Efo still go to the Rose Bowl? And the plan, the, the plan for that is yes. Right now, that kind of remains to be, de you know, to be determined. Mark, have you been happy with the secondary this year? Are you okay with the depth that you have in that area? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, what, are, what are we going to, you know, we can't sit here and go and wish we would have this, wish we would have this. We, we love our team. You know, our guys are playing their tails off. Uh, they're working hard. They've worked harder and better every week this season and that that's the key you know and again that's a tribute to the the assistants getting those guys ready and demonstrating confidence in in, in those guys has yeah. stardom gone to marcus's head yet <laughs> uh no no, okay. no. Just check. yeah that's a good check <laughs> hey coach in retrospect did you get the desired effect that you uh, wanted from the blue collars <laughs> um i don't know i get you know i can think again um probably not the right guy to ask in that in in regards to stuff like that but how our guys have worked this year and how you know the grit that they've shown the toughness that they've shown um i i think definitely uh and can you also talk about how uh, deforest has played this year well deforest is a stud you know he's a versatile guy uh inside outside type of guy uh Powerful uh, has developed into a much better pass rusher as as the years gone or as, as the years have gone, mm -hmm. um, and just just really developing into a complete player. Great, Coach, you talked about not wanting to get used to losing, not getting used to bouncing back with injuries. Like you said, there's been three or four of these now this season. You obviously don't want to get used to having to bounce back and then deal with those. But is that something that you can get used to as a team from a mental standpoint? Um, I think. Stuff like that is, is, you know, you have to kind of just put that out of the category, into the category of whatever, weather, 
or a call that doesn't go your way or a bounce that doesn't go your way, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And there's, you know, uh, almost without exception, there's nothing that we can do about, you know, some of the stuff that has happened except look it right in the eye, flush it, and move on. From a tuxedo on Letterman to the practice field, how has Marcus made the adjustment? Uh, great. You know, again, I, like I said on whatever day it was, I think he just wanted to be back out on the field, out doing his doing his deal, the things that are that are natural to him, um, and he's he's uh, he's been great. Yeah. Have you played a guy like James Winston before? Um, he's a combination of guys. You know, he's a, he's a you know probably more on the um, drop back passer side of things than the you know athletic side of things has a bunch of confidence in a, in you know a bunch of guys whether it's the the tailback giving those guys chances in the in the in the passing game obviously you know have an unbelievably dynamic uh tight end receiver combination and and the guy just makes a ton of plays when it's when it's on the line at the end so in regards to scout team do you remember i think you guys had to use brandon bear to beat cam newton because you didn't, <laughs> there wasn't a guy on the ducks roster yeah. that resembled him physically at all Who's, who's playing Jameis here? Well, uh, Ty Griffin and Morgan Mahalik both are rotating in. We rotate both those guys in constantly, you know, all the time uh, to, to do that. But they're obviously not, you know, not a Heisman Trophy defending champion. With uh, Ethel out, we mainly rely on Troy Hill to cover Shot Green. We'll rely on our team to respond great. That's what we'll rely on. It's not a, it's not a one-man deal, you know, in, in any phase. And our, our team's approach is... is you know what's the most important? Because Florida State goes four or five. I'm sorry, about you. because they go four or That's five weird. at a time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so surprising. Um, is the fear when you lose guy like Ethan? Not necessarily what happens to your number one cornerback, but how it impacts your number four or number five guy. Um, we just want those guys to be ready to play all the time. You know, you're, we you're practice. Guys yeah, up there. yeah. We we rotate those guys all around throughout fall camp, all throughout the season. They get a million reps. And so if you and I are playing next to each other in the secondary, we have confidence in each other at multiple spots with a backup, with a freshman, with a senior, and, and we'll go. Are you, um, are you using the Florida State number for uh, the Florida State cheat sheet, or do you actually write notes down the Florida Those, yeah, that's just uh, to, you notes know, for the week. Yeah. Okay. Do you do that? Do you yeah. this week? So when you play Oregon State together, I say, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.